How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and it's NHL 17. Also guys, be sure to turn on the notifications. Click that bell, make sure it's triggered. You guys will see every video that gets released by me immediately. So uh, I'm trying to look back as much as I can at old NHL games. Like I said, I still need to get on it. Uh, I need to get an older NHL game. I need to get 13, 12, 11, 10, 09, 08. I need to figure it out. I don't know where all my copies went. I had a lot in my, my house. I just they disappeared apparently. So <laughs> that's unfortunate. But we got NHL 17 today. And uh, I know I made a video on NHL 17 back in December. I pretty much just showed a hut though. I didn't really show what else was really a part of NHL 17. So we're going to kind of just go through, go through everything pretty much 17 had to offer. And here we go. So playing out, of course, that's in every game. Online versus. Let's see how many people are online in NHL 17. This is August 20th uh, in the afternoon here. Let's see. Uh, players online, 135. Really not a lot. I mean, why would there be a lot online? Players in online versus, there is two. So there are people playing games. Uh, not, not often, but they're happening for sure. Stats Central, let's see uh, if there's anyone like on the top of the leaderboard for the monthly. Uh, last win, oh my god, this guy was 115-3, yikes. Um, okay, and uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, overall monthly, uh, top 100. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I mean, okay, actually people are playing. Many, I noticed. Wait a second, I'm seeing... The last month, 93 games play. This guy's grinding. I mean, I respect it. Don't get me wrong, I respect it. But wow. Okay, so this guy's a god, apparently. J Pizzle Wizzle, huh? Hmm. Is he on it right now? Let's see. Let's see. Is he on Angel 17? No, no, he's not. Wow. All right. I mean, I respect the grind. I'm not, I'm not hating it. That's for sure. I'm just a little surprised. Okay. Okay. A lot of them are like kind of like default gamer tags, so I don't really know what that means. But uh, there you go. So that's that's versus. Not a lot of people are in it, but you know, it's okay. So there you go. 17 introduced a lot of customization options uh, for ESHL, especially. Shootout uh, is back. I don't think it was in 16. I, I could be wrong, though. Uh, draft Champions is the first year of Draft Champions, and it is a disaster. Let me tell you guys, it is not good. Uh, ESHL, there it is. Playing them together. Again, this is the first year they really added in a lot of customization opportunities and options. And uh, it was good. I, I really like 17, honestly. For ESHL, especially. 17 ESHL was a lot of fun. Uh, for me, at least, I played a lot, a lot of games, guys. A lot of games. Let me let me show you guys how many games I played. It was a ton, absolute ton of games here. Uh, player stats, and uh, yeah, let's say it's probably close to a thousand. Let me let me see though. Uh, my career, there you go. And yes, here we go. Jump to me, and I played. Uh, yeah, I played 737 games. A lot of games, but you know what? 2,000 points, boys. 2.8 goals, uh, points per game. That's very good. You got to admit, guys. You got to admit that's a that's a solid points per game right there. Um, but yeah, I mean, I played a lot. I really like 17. It was it was a fun game for ESHL especially. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever knew this about me, but I was more of an ESHL player uh, until recently, until NHL 19. I I played a lot more Hut this year than ESHL. Um, pretty much every year I was playing ESHL way more than Hut uh, just until this year. Because I know, I mean, I know you guys like watching Hut more than ESHL for sure. But if you guys want more ESHL, let me know. I mean, definitely let me know. I mean, I'm down. I'm I'm absolutely down to, uh, you know, upload more ESHL videos in NHL 20, I mean, for sure. So there you go, that's the ESHL, there you go, it's similar, it's very similar, I mean, the world of shells is more expanded, I guess, now you have ones and all that good stuff, so there's more to do, of course, but, uh, I mean, nothing, like, significantly different, I wouldn't say, like, customization-wise, it's, it's similar to 20, I mean, it really is, I mean, there's some different arenas and stuff like that, and, like, logos, but nothing, like, significant, I would say. Uh, franchise mode, this is when they brought... Uh, owner mode in you could like sell uh, you know food and all that stuff and like you have to fix the bathrooms and that's kind of what brought in was brought in in franchise mode it's it's all right don't get me wrong it's all right but wow I have a lot of a lot of franchise modes apparently so here's a layout of NHL 17 I actually kind of thought it was clean uh, you have to see all the stats here um, it's, it's pretty like quick menus I feel like that that, that was definitely nice about it. I like 17 franchise on mo uh, franchise mode a lot for some reason. Uh, I was definitely a big fan. And uh, the player meetings, it's, it's a similar similar format. Uh, 20 looks really, really good though, so I'm excited for that. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a similar format. Trade and improve, trade, I mean, you could scout, but there's no, like, you couldn't sign scout yet. That was until NHL 19, so here's a four. It's it's the same thing, basically. It's basically the same thing there. Uh, franchise mode in 20 is going to be a lot better though. Is, uh, is my guess and hope at least. So we shall see about that. 
World Cup of Hockey mode, that was alright. Practice mode, offline shootout, be a pro is literally the same as NHL 20. Uh, unfortunately, season mode is just probably the most irrelevant thing. Playoff mode is if you want to play with your friends, have like a nice little tournament. But season mode doesn't really mean anything. Online team play, I mean, whatever. Um, there you go, and let's get into hockey ultimate team, guys. You know the mode that I play the most. And uh, here it is. Hockey ultimate team. See, I played a lot in 17, but still more SHL, definitely. So, here we go. We load it up. For some reason, taking a long time. I guess the servers are coming down, <laughs> imagine. Here we go. We're in the hut. And like I said, I had this team very well. If you remember watching my video in December, I know I've, I, I've gained a lot of subscribers since December, though. I've gained about, like, I want to say three or four thousand. So, a lot of you guys are new here. And here's my, my <laughs> item inbox. That was definitely a nice feature back in the day, an item inbox. Have some of these cards here. Synergies is the first year of Synergies as well uh, in NHL. Hut. But uh, there you go. 200k in coins. Not bad at all. Let's go to my line. If you guys saw Richards. Only OG. Remember Mike Richards. Here we go. We got line A. Mike Richards. Terry Single. This Terry Single was free, I believe, that EA gave to everybody. So that was very, very nice. Uh, my team was actually sensational. It really, really is. Uh, because I remember back, this was a time, guys, where EA was giving us so many points. Like the EA program, like the EA program I was in. It's unbelievable. We were getting so many points per month. I was getting like 20k points to open, maybe even more, honestly, towards the end of the year. It's actually ridiculous. So we got Line A, Richards, Terry Sinkle, Malkin, Linden, Linden, Malkin. This Malkin I got in the Christmas pack, the Christmas rewards. That was very, very sick. Drew, uh, Derek Roy, and of course, guys, Pavel Burry. It hurts. I mean, Pavel Burry is a very, very sick card. It really, really does hurt that he's not uh, in NHL anymore, and he hasn't been. I hope he's in 20. I don't think he's going to be, though, unfortunately. He's a very, very, very fun card to use. 5'10", 187, the fastest card in the world. 95 speed. It just doesn't seem like it, honestly. He felt like he was so much more faster. And, uh, yeah, it was just... What a card. He just felt unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Um, and then La, Fin La Fontaine, Scott Gomez, Joe Hansen. That was pumped the Got Joe Hansen. This is the summer of 2017, of course. We acquired him in a trade. Scott Gomez. And the defense is really, really good, guys. And again, back in the day where EA would give us a Movember card, everybody in the EA program could choose one. I chose Carlson, and uh, he got a 99. So I was happy with that. He was such a fun card to use all year. I love Carlson. I really, really do. Uh, Chris Pronger, unbelievable card. Uh, yeah, just really, really great card overall. The shot was sensational. Uh, then we got Giordano, Shanker, Team of the Year cards here, and Caberlet and Dan Boyle flashbacks. So, yeah, I mean, this team's a very, very good team. I mean, that's just putting it lightly. Um, I really, really had fun with Ultimate Team, Ben Bishop, of course, and Joseph. But yeah, I really had a fun time. Synergies were different, of course, this time. Some are similar, some are still there. Speedsters, uh, Nephron Presence, Face Off. A, a lot of them, there's some that are similar, some of them are different though. Long Range Bomber's not in the game. Tape the Tape is back in the game. Team Wheel's not in 19. Uh, shot Blocking is not there, Untalkable Forest. Uh, a lot of these are not in the game, but uh, 200 Foot Player, Takeaway King, Line Brawlers, X Ray Vision, Powerhouse. I have a lot of them active, my goodness, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, they were. this was a good game. I, I did enjoy 17 a lot for some reason. I don't know what it was about it, but uh, how was my record? My record was pretty good, I want to say. Yeah, it's decent. Not a bad record at all. Uh, let me just delete the team now, imagine. <laughs> that I don't do. That I don't do. All right, and since you guys are here, let's do some packs, all right? Why not? Why not? If you're still watching the video, I'm going to treat you guys with some packs. Here we go. 150K pack. Ultimate pack. What do we got? Forward. And this is when all the cards were gold rares. The good days, boys. The good days. Here we go. 40 cards. And uh, here goes my coins. Let's see what we can get here. Martin Hansel. Uh, Matt Irwin. Adam Henrique. How to get Ryan McDonough. That's a pretty big pull. 90 overall. You can't hate it. Uh, Raffle. Euclid. Boychuk. Riley. Kuhlman. Not looking too good here. Um, Neuverth. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Like everybody's 86 overall at least. It's ridiculous. Everybody's so high overall. Oh no, boys. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Oh my. What a bad, 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 bad pack. Unlucky though. Unlucky. Alright, well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel here. You know, sometimes you can't get the best luck. It's okay though. It's NHL 17. We're saving that. Unbelievable luck for NHL 20 once that drops, and let me know, guys. 
uh, what are the videos you want me to do towards the end of August here, just trying to, again, bridge the gap until NHL 20. So leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel here, and uh, also have my SeatGeek code, guys. Use code Henrique for $20 off your order. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to catch me on social media, follow me at Twitter, 14HenriqueTV. Uh, I recently changed my at, so now it is 14HenriqueTV. Link's in the description. Follow me on Twitch, guys. It is 14HenriqueTV. Never miss a stream again. Have the alerts turned on. And also join the Discord, guys. We have a lot of fun in here. We just talk about hockey, talk about hut, just talk about anything, really. Links are all in the description, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.